Rachel says, do you have any tips on staying focused and learning while you're studying at home? And I would say, first of all, um, if you don't need your computer for your studies, if you're not looking stuff up on the internet, then don't be on your computer. Go in a room that's quiet. Maybe make yourself something to eat so you're not like getting distracted if you're hungry or thirsty. Just get into like the mindset of, if I do this, then I will re like reward myself. That's kind of what I do. Like I think, okay, if I spend two hours working on this paper, then I will allow myself you know, an hour of online shopping or an hour of free time on Facebook or whatever I want to do. And so I make sure that I get the things that I need to do done first. Also, of course, pay attention to pri like your priorities, like what needs to be done first and what's the most important thing to get done. Also, a lot of the times I feel better when I get stuff out of the way and I don't have to stress out about it last minute. So if you're someone like that as well, just think about that and think how nice it will feel to be relieved and be done with your work if you go ahead and get it done. Steven says, how old is Molly? Molly is 15. She turned 15 on March 26th. Yoshi says, what do you consider a good friend? I consider a good friend someone who accepts you for who you are, but also isn't afraid to tell you when maybe they think you're making a bad choice or give you advice on things. I feel like also a good friend, of course, needs to be loyal and honest and just someone that you have fun with and get along with. Addie says, where in Texas do you live? I live in Austin. Naomi says, hi Megan, what do you look for in a guy? Um, I look for someone with a good sense of humor. I like people that are funny. I just love to laugh. I also really like someone who is not serious in a way, but can be mature. And I really like someone that seems um, motivated and intelligent. And then I also like someone that I just get along with and that it's just comfortable. And I feel like you know when that is. Like when you just are comfortable with someone and that's definitely something very important and without that you can't have a relationship. Erin says, do you have any food allergies? Not that I know of. I'm allergic to penicillin but that, you know, would be medicine so I guess that wouldn't count as food. Alex says, do you have any phobias or fears? I don't really like heights but I'm not like, I wouldn't necessarily say it's like a fear of mine. I just don't really like being like high up off the ground. Um, I'm not really scared of like spiders or anything. I guess I don't like being claustrophobic. I really don't like that. One time there was this haunted house where we had to like climb through this tunnel thing and then on each side there were like, I don't know how you explain it, like these soft like inflatable things and that just like scared me so much. Like I hate the feeling of like thinking I'm gonna like suffocate. Like that's I guess a phobia of mine, like being in a little tiny space. I don't like that at all. Alexis says, who's your favorite person in One Direction? And I don't really follow them. I just listened to their, like, What Makes You Beautiful song, like, a week ago. Although, I would think the cutest one, in my opinion, would be Liam. But I'm pretty sure they said he has a girlfriend, so. Jennifer says, if YouTube, the internet, and TV stopped working for a week, how would you spend your days? Um, I'd probably spend it outside, obviously, doing a bunch of stuff outside. Maybe, possibly, like, cleaning up my closet and my room and getting that kind of stuff done. Um, but I would definitely take the time to go to the Humane Society and walk some of the dogs. That's one of my favorite things to do, actually. And I haven't done it in a little while, so I think I want to do that soon. So that would be the perfect time to do that. Um, also, yeah, just anything with being outside. I mean, if the weather was bad outside... Maybe I would have. To, I would just probably read. Um, she didn't mention if books were taken away, so I guess I could do that as well. Jenny says, "Whose career do you wish to imitate?" I love Rachel Zoe. How she is a stylist. I think that's so fun, and how she's coming out with her own lines of clothing and stuff. I think that would be like a really awesome thing to do with your life. Get to not actually make the clothes, but just style them and get to meet all the designers and make really cool connections with everyone in Hollywood. I think that would be such a fun and just like fast-paced fashion job. Monica says, how do you deal with being judged by other people? People saying mean comments to you that don't know you, please answer. Well, it's definitely taken me a long time to get to the point where I am now, um, but by now I've kind of realized that people that don't know me are going to draw conclusions and make assumptions about me, then it's their loss. I mean, if you get to know me and you still don't like me as a person, I feel like that's better in a way. I mean, I feel like if you just are, you know, looking at me and deciding, oh, you seem rude, you seem stuck up, I don't like you, all this stuff, I feel like you're not giving me the chance to get to know me. And I know, of course, it's difficult through the internet, but by now, I've just 
been able to kind of realize that people are going to have their own opinions and if they're just going to decide to not like me for no reason, there's not really much I can do to change that. Um, hopefully they can realize that I really haven't done anything mean to them and they shouldn't be outwardly mean to me, but they don't have to prefer me over everyone. That's fine. And I know there will always be people in life like that. So I just try not to let it get to me and I try not to let it really affect me. And I just know that there are a lot of people that don't get the chance to meet me through the internet that watch my videos that are super nice and supportive and loving and I'm trying to focus on those people. Kate says, do you regret anything in your past or has everything you've done been to your liking? I definitely think I, if I could have gone back and changed things or done things differently, had I known how things would have turned out, I would have done that. But I try not to think so much in the past. I try to think moving forward and in the present and in the future and how I can learn from my past and kind of apply that to my life and hopefully do a better time the next time or make better decisions the next time. So I wouldn't say there's anything that I necessarily like regret and would take away. Um, I definitely try to learn from past mistakes. Kate says, are you happy with your life right now? Yes, I really am. I definitely have gone through um, a lot of different things in the past year or so, and now I'm at a point where I'm very happy with YouTube. I'm really enjoying the videos that I'm getting to make, and I'm enjoying how you guys are reacting to them. I really, your comments really do mean a lot to me, and I know maybe you think, oh, you don't respond to all of them. I really don't have time to respond to each and every single one of them, but the nice ones really do mean a lot to me, and they really do just make my day that much better, and they really add to the overall the want of they really do make me want to keep making videos and make me strive to make better videos so yes I am very happy with my life right now and I really do appreciate all of y'all who are very sweet to me Tina says what's your favorite movie I have a lot of different favorite movies the other day I was going to see um, Bully which was the documentary about bullying and before that, they actually played a Mean Girls like preview. That's one of my favorite movies. It's very funny. I also really like the Titanic. I know that's coming out in 3D, so I really want to go see that. Um, of course, I walked to remember I mentioned that little romantic comedy. I watched Bridesmaids the other day. I thought it was pretty funny. I don't know if it goes down as a favorite, but I thought it was pretty good. Pretty much as good as everyone said it was. Lexi says, what's your favorite fast food place? Um, in Texas, we have Chick-fil-A. I'm not sure if you guys have that, but that's probably my favorite fast food place and really only, one of the only ones that I'll eat at. I don't think Subway counts as fast food, but I like Subway too, although it is kind of fast, but it's not like a drive through so I guess it doesn't really count as fast food, right? Do you guys think it does? I don't know. My sister likes Taco Bell, which I think is gross, but she likes Taco Bell. Claire says, have you ever met Michelle Fawn? Yes, I have. I actually did a 17 photo shoot with her and it was really cool. Fiona says, do you ever want to cut your hair and do a completely new hairstyle? I had that urge the other day. I wanted to cut my hair, but now I kind of been really liking the length that it is. As far as the color, I still think I'm going to get a few more like darker low lights put back into it because I kind of like the way it looked with a little bit of darker pieces. And I think I want to keep it kind of like lighter in the front, like the pieces around my face, and then just get some darker kind of put throughout it so it just has a little bit more dimension to it. Yeah, I definitely have had like nights where I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I could just dye my hair like super dark brown, but I haven't actually done that, obviously. Becky says, do you like green or red grapes more? I like green grapes. I also like green apples instead of red apples. Julie says, Jacob or Edward? I can't really answer that because I've never watched a full Twilight movie. I've never read the books. I only got through half of the first movie, so I don't really have a preference on Edward or Jacob. So those are all the questions I'm going to answer today. Again, thank you guys so much for leaving me the questions, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, everyone.